Hello everyone, good evening. Today we are bringing an exclusive content for all our viewers and readers. Today we will speak in in-depth about the India's electronics manufacturing ecosystem, the challenges, growth and how India can compete with China. Apart from that, we will also try to give you a glimpse of how the PCBs are manufactured and assembled in India. We are not even sure, you know, whether we can show you the complete process or not. But they will definitely try to give you a glimpse and overview of how the manufacturing is happening in India. And apart from that, we will also speak about why PCB manufacturing is so complex and why India imports 70 percent of PCBs from China. So in this regard, we will speak exclusively with Mr. Varun Manwani, the director of Saisra Group of Industry. Varun, welcome to our show. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you on our board. Okay. Thank you very Today much. Today we will discuss deeply about the industry, we will also know about the challenges and how the manufacturing ecosystem is growing. Okay, so uh, now coming back to, we know, would like to know something about Sahasra. Okay, see when and how Sahasra was formed. Okay, when you founded the organization, you know, initially what was your motto and which were the products and the services. You know, you were, uh, you know, you were actually, you know, manufacturing that time. And today, I mean, all these years when the company was founded and after all these years, why do you see the difference that time and this time? If you can give and if you can elucidate this. Sure. Um, Sahasra was founded in the year 2000. And uh, Sahasra is a Sanskrit word which means millennium. Yes. So instead of calling ourselves Millennium Electronics, we decided to call ourselves Sahasra Electronics. Uh, today, uh, we're in 2024, 24 years have gone by in our journey. We started with uh, our EMS activity, uh, which is the PCB assembly, wire harness, box build you activity. Mr. Amrit Manwani? Yeah, this was started by my father, uh, Mr. Amrit Manwani. Uh, he is still active, he's 73, he's the chairman of the company. I myself also joined in uh, the year 2000. Uh, I was a college student. But I was always fascinated with uh, electronics and with manufacturing and that's when I decided to part-time join him um, uh, during this journey. So we started with our EMS businesses and we focused on the export market for the very first 10 years. During this period we got into, uh, we backward integrated and we got into PCB fabrication. So that was our second business. Um, opportunity presented itself and in the year 2012, uh, we got an opportunity to invest in Rwanda. Uh, Rwanda is a small country in east of Africa and that's where we started our LED lighting business. Uh, thereafter in 2016 uh, we got into the solid state uh, memory business and we started manufacturing our USB drives, micro SD cards, SSDs and, and uh, memory modules. Uh, just a year later we were very lucky and I would say uh, we were able to get into a a joint venture and a very strong relationship with a very large Taiwanese company called uh, Mitax Simex Corporation. Through that uh, joint venture, we were able to get access to their high-tech uh, electronics product portfolio, primarily in computing. And that's how we made our journey into the computing segment. Uh, Sahasra was the very first company to start manufacturing enterprise-grade um, server motherboards uh, 2019 onwards. Uh, it had. It was a feat which had not been done in India earlier. Um, thereafter, in 2020, when the pandemic uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, happened, um, that's the year when the government came out with the very first PLI scheme around mobile phones and its components. That's when we applied for uh, the very first PLI, and uh, we were lucky enough to get uh, awarded the PLI, and that is when we laid the foundation stone for our. Uh, semiconductor operation and so we got into semiconductor uh, packaging. Uh, just last year uh, in March we started, in 2023 March we started trial production of our semiconductor packaging and in September we got into mass manufacturing. Can India become globally competitive? Now why I'm asking you is this, so my first question that comes to my mind is you know, all, all my viewers would like to know that also, you know, India has set and achieved a target of dollar three hundred billion worth of electronics by the end of 2026 and 125 dollar of 125 billion of exports in the same year. But uh, unfortunately, <coughs> you know, the thing is that, you know, 70% of the PCBs, this is as per the report, 
by the industry body. 70% of the PCBs were imported from China. Around 75% to 80% of sensors were also imported from China. So without developing a component manufacturing ecosystem, do you think is it possible to achieve the target? See, we are not pessimistic that you know we cannot <coughs> achieve the target. But the problem is with the deadline. Do you think that is justified? Uh, well, the way I look at it is, first of all, we should be optimistic to exceed the 300 billion figure. We should not look at 300 billion and get bogged down by it. We should look at crossing that figure. Um, I think India is very well poised today um, in terms of the geopolitical situation, in terms of the political situation at home. So when you look at the macro level outside the country and when you look at the macro level inside the country, we are very, very well poised. Um, um, you know, the fact that uh, most likely the same government may come to power, it helps the industry because from a policy standpoint, there is continuity in terms of policy. There is no break in policy and that is the most crucial. Um, I'm not politically oriented giving this answer, but I'm giving it from an industry standpoint that there is, should no, be no break in policy or in in the way uh, you know policies are being uh, rolled out in the way industry is working towards uh, the future so therefore something like this really helps and so exceeding these numbers or at least achieving these numbers is not such a herculean task it is definitely doable keeping also the geopolitics in mind what is happening worldwide okay my second question to you know sometimes i don't know this question you uh, might not like to answer uh, but the thing is that you know what comes to my mind because I don't know anybody has ever asked you this question. This is because, you know, when the ITA 1 agreement was signed in 1997 in Singapore, according to the industry bodies, India's dream of leading the nation in manufacturing ecosystem is shattered. Because at that time, the government clearly said, let India be the powerhouse for software. We're still today, but that time it was the notion was that, you know, let India be the software powerhouse and let China, you know, uh, you know uh, manufacture and assemble other electronic products. Okay. <coughs> you know, the thing is that, you know, why I am asking this question to you is that, you know, why make in India in terms of electronics or even semiconductors? Yeah, so I am just coming back to that, that yes, uh, it is unfortunate that back in those days we had to sign ITA1 and um, we lost quite a bit of uh, manufacturing um, uh, expertise, know-how that we could have developed over the years. Uh, recently I talked to one of the, another manufacturer who is also into SMEs. Into LED, but I won't take the name. Uh, according to him, this you know, this schemes, PLI schemes, and all everything is targeting, you not know, of targeting FDIs, the foreign companies. Okay, <clears throat> they are not helping the MSMEs. They are, there is automation deploying automation challenge in MSMEs. You know, uh, getting loans also is getting very difficult. So, do you think it is actually helping the MSMEs? Um, it is uh, only targeting foreign companies. Sorry, I will disagree with this, uh, my industry colleague, whoever uh, gave this uh, uh, impression or information to you and I will give two examples. If you look at the telecom PLI, it has specially and specifically a lot of SMEs available. Number two, if you look at the recent PLI 2.0 for IT hardware, uh, 27 applicants uh, were given the, the green light and within those 27 applicants, I think there are at least um, um, 15 or 16 applicants who are SMEs. Yeah. So it is not, that's not the case. Third, uh, and if I'm not wrong, uh, the PLI for drones was specifically around um, SMEs. There are really no large players in the drones uh, industry. So it is not that these PLIs are only for the large MNCs or very large companies of India. In fact, these PLIs and incentives are basically stepping stones. These are initial support. Right, so that we we get that initial boost, uh, the 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 disabilities that we have vis-a-vis -vis our counterparts in the eastern part of the world or other uh, countries of the world, we are able to overcome those disabilities, and we are able to get a kickstart to do our manufacturing uh, on a uh, on a longer term and a larger scale um, for uh, Indian consumption and for export to the world. So we are in one of the of your you know of product section. If you can tell me what are the products and is it completely made in India? And made, if you speak about it, for how these products are manufactured, if you can say about this. Yeah, sure. So um, you know, as I mentioned to you earlier, that we are in memory products and we are also in IT hardware. So if you were to come and have a look at um, these solutions here, 
So these are <clears throat> our USB drives and our micro SD cards, right? And then uh, if you come to the back this side, these are our portable SSDs, our internal uh, SSDs, and then these are our memory modules. Um, on the lower section, you will see these are um, consumer uh, client computing uh, motherboards um, for uh, different applications, uh, for all-in-ones, for desktops, uh, etc. And then so you... Uh, is this completely made in India? Uh, yes. So whatever we have on display here, these are completely, completely made in India, right? Um, Sahasra doesn't do any kind of trading activity. Okay. So, so, so all the products, all this, the PCBs, these are all uh, Sahasra manufactured. These are all Sahasra manufactured PCBs. This one, all of these that you can see here, these are as I already explained earlier that we got into uh, manufacturing enterprise grade server motherboards in 2019. So these are all motherboards which have been made by us uh, in here in India. Now, because of our technology partnership with this company MyTech and through our joint venture, um, you know we have access to uh, the technology. We have access to the to the to the availability of the product, and therefore we get uh, the raw material from there, and then we completely assemble it in India, right? So all of these products that you see on display here are um, India-made products. So we are today uh, proud to say that we are shipping our motherboards to Korea. And our memory solutions are going to the US, to Europe, to the Middle East. So these are available on um, DigiKey, which is a very big uh, electronics e-commerce platform. And they're also available on Amazon Global. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you Thank very you much. for your time. Thank you very much. And it's always a pleasure okay, to have to have an interaction with you. And we also want to see Sahasra, one of the top manufacturers in the world. Thank you so much. I appreciate the wishes and uh, thank you for covering uh, everything about Sahasra. So we are in the manufacturing unit of you know Sahasra, where they manufacture PCBs. Okay, and we'll also find out in detail with an expert you know what they do. Uh, can you please explain uh, what kind of this facility currently known as? See, this is a PCBA assembly line hmm. where we have state of art, state of the art uh, SMT lines. Hmm. We have eight SMT lines. Hmm. And uh, we have eight SMT lines with with all the lines being equipped with uh, AOI and SPI okay. And coming back to the PCB, what kind of PCBs you are currently, you know, uh, you know, you know, currently you are manufacturing, you know? Because... See, we cover the whole spectrum of the industry, whether it is uh, consumer industry, the industrial industry, the automotive industry, and medical industry, aviation industry. We cover the whole gambit of the industry and uh, going down the line, yes, we continue to grow. We will continue to grow with the EMS industry. Okay, my last question is when you, you know, there is a saying that a uh, manufacturing process of a PCB is very complex. Okay, around 35 procedures are involved. Okay, so can you please tell me why it is so complex? See, if you look at, uh, if you look at the complexity, the complexity lies majorly with the boards what we do. We do, we do a board which is almost all uh, ten layered board, and having and having having very high density, as well as also large placement of components. See, the primary focus, uh, the, the primary focus of the manufacturing today is to ensure customer delight. We ensure customer delight through right quality, and at Sahasra we strongly believe in having a good manufacturing system, followed with a high quality. This this shall ensure customer. In fact, we are uh, doing this in India and uh, our quality rates, yield rates are quite far, far, far better when compared to the industry. Okay. So what is the difference between a bare PCB and this PCB? See, the bare PCB is a simple PCB. This board is what we call it as a PCBA. In a PCBA, the electronic component gets populated on the bare PCB. See, the complexity is in terms of the number of layers what you do. Okay. This, I will not be able to reveal more details on this board okay. uh, because this is the, the complexity of the board normally lies in the number of layers which can be fabricated. Mm. This is a high layer board, this is what I think. So when the board gets completed, all the components get integrated, then yes, the board is fabricated.